Hi everybody, I'm Mary Kanish. I'm very happy to be here to share one of my favorite instruments, amazing set of instruments called the Boom Whackers. And the Boom Whackers are wonderful. They're made out of a wonderful material, plastic material. They have a super sound. They're easy to play. Bright colors, which is really fun. So there are lots of bright colors, and each color is a different sound. So let me introduce the family to you. We have red, and notice I'm going to take one hand and hold very firmly at the bottom end, and I'm going to tap the top end. Now you can tap your hand, your knee, the floor, or your desk. So you have options, or you can stand up and you can tap the back of your chair. Great. So we'll be exploring some of those options. Red. The next one is, and you'll notice it's a little shorter, is orange. Orange. Super. The next one is yellow. Great. The next one is green. There was quite a jump in pitch, wasn't there? A little bit, quite a bit higher. Yep. And the next one is purple. And then at the very top and the very shortest is little red. Great. Now, I like to have students, first of all, when they you introduce the Boom Whackers, each day we're going to have you just pull out one color first, and then you may at the most have students use two colors. My suggestion is that the Boom Whackers will arrive each in a bag, individual bags. I would put the student's name on those bags so they're very clear which set they're using and then each day they would go and choose the color out of the bag and you might have them go four at a time so it's not uh, crazy just send a few over to pull out the color that you've designated for each day for our lessons and that way the bags stay organized the boom whackers stay organized and each student knows where their bag is and they're playing the same boom whackers. So I use disinfectant wipes for the boom whackers as well. So when they're done playing, I'll just take a wipe and I'll wipe down the top and where their hand is and the bottom end where they've tapped or tapped their hand or their knee or the floor. And that way you know that you'll disinfect them. But I think the easiest thing is if you keep the bags in a place in the room where students know they are, and then they will go over at the designated time, get that color, a boom whacker. It'll always be one color or two for each lesson and bring it back to their desk. I think that's going to be the easiest for you. Okay, now I like to set up a boom whacker protocol so that students know exactly how to use them, and what to do and when. So it's nice to put a language to that and set it up very early, like right when you begin. So when I start, I say, okay, this is your boom whacker. It's a musical instrument. Let's all say that. I have a boom whacker. This is a musical instrument. Right. Just so it sets in their head that that's what this is. This is to be played like a violin or a guitar or a flute, it is a musical instrument, and that's how we'll be using it. So I start with one hand firm on the boom whacker, take the other hand, hold it like this, and bring it down to your lap, and we call this resting. So I'll say, boom whackers, rest, and students know to do this, okay? And then, as we get ready, boom whackers, we say, ready, and so they move from rest to ready to open one hand and ready, they lift it up. 
and they're ready. So let's practice that. Rest, ready, and then there's play. And play again can be on the hand, on the knee, but I think for our group, we'll be using it on the floor. They may be sitting crisscross on the floor, or they could be seated, seated at their desks and play to one side on the floor, which is what I'm doing. Okay, so here we go. Let's go over it again. Ready? Rest. Ready. Play. And stop. Comes up in front of you in the air. So now we've got rest, boom whacker rest, boom whacker ready, boom whacker play, boom whacker stop. Great. It's wonderful if you can set those cues up and practice at the very beginning and each day just so students are very clear where we are in the cues. Okay, and if you set that up early, it will work for you. And you can even have a student say, who wants to give the call today? And a student could say, rest, everybody rest, ready, play, stop. So this is another way to have students be empowered to be the leaders as well. You'll discover with your group what might work with them. But in all cases, we really want them to have fun we want them to be calm and clear. So I'll often have them, when we get into rest state, I'll have them take a deep breath. So rest, we breathe in and out. And I like to think, we'll breathe in and think four. Ready? One, two, three, four. And out four. One more time, in four, and out four, and a third time, breathe in, and out, fabulous. This also calms their mind, prepares them to get ready to have the experience with the boom whackers, and it really readies the brain for learning, brain and body. So again, just to go over, have the students have their boom whackers in one designated place. Let them know which boom whacker or boom whackers we're going to use each day. They know to go over to the boom whacker bag, get that boom whacker, bring it out, bring it to their place, and get immediately into rest position. Start with three breaths, breathing in, four, out. And then we're ready to go. We have the lesson. And when they're done, again, it's nice to end with three breaths. Think about what they did today, what they learned. And then they'll go back one by one or in small groups to put their boom whackers away. Okay, I think if you do this, this will really help you out to have a calm, relaxed, and fun engaging class with your students. Have fun. I love the boom whackers. I think you will too.